Here we go again. Life gives me these. And I give it these. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. This vlog is gonna be a really nice, wholesome, family, friends, orientated. I say family, I'm all mean friends. I'm not actually seeing my family, but my friends are my family, okay? As I'm filming this right now, I haven't actually uploaded on YouTube in over a month. Hopefully by this point, you will have seen my LA and Vegas vlog. And if you did watch that vlog, you will notice I mentioned that I was going through quite a difficult time. And by quite a difficult time, that is really understated because I don't think I've ever felt how I felt the past couple of weeks in my entire life. I still am not fully like through the journey of this entire thing and not fully feeling great. And I have my moments today and last night actually. Last night's the first night in like three weeks where I've actually had a full night's sleep and woke up at a reasonable time and didn't wake up crying. <laughs> I just woke up like, oh my God, this is what it feels like to be a normal human being. I'm not gonna jinx it though because I've had a day like this before and then that evening just went to complete shit But I'm hoping because I'm gonna be with my friends all weekend I'm gonna be very distracted and I'm gonna have a bloody lovely time. It's a very very I know I'm laughing But it's not funny like it, it really ain't funny is it? I've actually been on the brink of like I've never said to myself I think I'm depressed before but my friends have advised me to maybe seek medical help for the state that I've been in. You really haven't missed much in my life. I were on such a roll with vlogging and filming my life and I was like, oh my God, everything feels so perfect and nice. Me, Anna, Freya, Callum, Callum, Tia and Haz are all going to a little lodge. And I'm saying lodge. I don't know if it's a lodge or if it's like a caravan. I come back with no manners. This is the disrespect. Yeah, we're all going to a little lodge this weekend. We, I don't know if it's a lodge. I keep saying lodge because Anna keeps saying lodge, but I envision it's like a caravan space with like a hot tub and a little fire. I've not actually seen what it looks like and I don't want to see what it looks like until I get there, but it's down by Alton Towers. It's like literally online with Alton Towers on the map, but just like half an hour away. So it's down that end of the country. We're all driving down there this afternoon. It's currently Friday. It is actually, Friday, oh, Friday the 3rd, and the 3rd was my anniversary date. <laughs> the time of this is all perfect, but you know what? Maybe the timing of this is all perfect, actually. Maybe this is what I need. I can't believe I've just realized that. But yeah, we're all going down to this lodge to spend the weekend together. It's gonna be really, really nice. We've said we're gonna have a no phones environment. However, Anna did say she was gonna vlog, and also I feel like vlogging this trip will be nice. One, so when I come back, I have something to edit and something to do, as opposed to just wallowing in self-pity. I also just want to feel like myself again and myself again feels like picking up the camera. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on a second. The strolls have McFollin. McFollin? Tia, do you want some ketchup? Why is there suddenly loads of men around here? Too many men. Too many men. Tia, do you want some ketchup? Um, I've got loads. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, I don't need two. Oh, babe, take two. There's loads. Oh, guys. We've collected Tia, had a massive argument with the rest of the group. We're no longer going to the No, but then. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Turn this shit around. <laughs> Put you in a splash. Why are you, babe? What are you doing? It's boiling. You're trying to get your rain done. You're in on me, you know what I mean? Stop for a little McDonald's before we drive because I'm starving. Mm. Not eating all day. Cheers. She went to the lodge. She went to the lodge, babe. Caravan. If it was raining, we can't go in the hot tub. Yeah, we can. Not it's actually magical when it's yeah. rains. Is it? Yeah, it's lovely because you're in the hot, hot tub and you've got the rain Cold on. It feels like you're in a movie. I've really? Yeah. I've done you're that. You're in for a right treat. Bye. I am in for a right treat. Callum has been chefing up a lovely, oh, and not ours, babe. It's been like an hour. Uh, we went in the hot tub and Callum's been making a lovely pasta bolognese. Absolutely. Right. Ooh, it smells lovely outside. Me, Freya, and Tio just walked to the shop and got a glass of wine. Um, and it smells it's delicious. Glass, huh? From outside, when you're walking towards the earth, yeah, it smells glass. lovely. Just one glass, babe. Just one glass, <laughs> just one glass between us all. I went in my um, Grinch Udi to the shop and I bought two bottles of wine. And the woman was like, Oh, I love that you're buying two bottles of wine dressed like the Grinch. And I was like, Definitely not the usual clientele for this fancy place. But it's bloody yeah, lovely. Like um, I'm just starving and I'm ready to watch Big Brother. Some wine and a little. Like yeah, yeah. on the TV. Double eviction. Ooh. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a. Ah! 
Good morning, everyone. We're actually starting our day by doing a murder mystery. Starting the day at Alright, babe, my love, but we're not on my vlog, we are. We've been to Ashbourne and everything. No, we aren't, because that's getting cut out. Well, we have. Um, I've gone and got some new pyjamas from your trading company. We didn't do that. We're just doing this. It's bright and early. So, where are your morning. socks from? Um, my and socks came over. We're watching it on the TV. I know it's November, but um, the spooky vibes continue. We've got a mirror to solve. <laughs> right, so we're saying Paul, so therefore. Paul's envelope. What's well, this just where you're assuming Paul's there? Yeah, so we're assuming Paul in the room we're going to die. Yeah, yeah. There's Spencer's lots of suspense, I know, yeah. <laughs> that's me. It says, sorry, that's not the document we're looking for. I don't know how we need to prove Joey. Paul, it's Paul. We're going to read on this case, one hint, and then we're going to take the hint. This is so difficult. Wait, what? So, did you get the answer right? We've been honestly doing this for about an hour. And it's just not getting anywhere. Hi, everyone. It's me from the future just popping in this vlog. I don't know where you are about seeing this vlog right now. However, I just wanted to jump in and give you a quick haul. I recently have picked up a bunch of things from PLT. This video is very kindly, or this section actually, is very kindly sponsored by PLT. However, I've worked with them a bunch. You know I love the girls at PLT. I wear a lot of PLT. In fact, this tracksuit that I'm wearing currently, I haven't had off my body since I've got it. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I don't even know why I'm showing you this. But look how stained this is. This needs to go in the wash, but this is the comfiest tracksuit I've ever owned in my entire life and I keep putting it in the wash pile and then getting it back out of the wash pile and just like, I want it on my body. I want it on my body, I don't want to have to wash it. But after this video, I swear, go in the wash, I'm going to wash it. I just haven't had this tracksuit off since I got it. So by the time you're actually watching this video, PLT's Pink Friday sale will have already happened. I believe there may be still some bits on sale right now as I'm filming this. I think it ends tonight. I literally think the sale ends tonight. There will obviously still be some discounted items and stuff like that. So definitely go as soon as you see this. Go over to PLT, check out the sale whilst it's still on. But that being said, PLT are always having sales and discounts and doing the most. So definitely just go over there and check it out regardless when you actually see this. I'll obviously also link all the bits that I show in this video down below as well in case you want to shop any of them directly. I am such a sucker for a matching set. I picked this one up just because I love the colour of it. It is a matching tracksuit and I probably look like a big fat chav wearing it but I love it. In fact I don't. It looks cool. It looks really cool. It's so heavy as well. Like the quality of this is absolutely incredible. It just has a little little logo on there that says Universal Sports Academy and then it also obviously comes with matching jogging bottoms and I love that the bottoms of these on like that, what do you call it when it's like scrunched at the bottom? I love just a wide leg tracksuit bottom. It sits incredibly on a trainer. Chef's kiss. Obviously this tracksuit is sort of a matching set. I don't know if this is actually a matching set or if the colours of the grey just literally are the exact same colours. I think I've gone a little bit crazy with the hoodies because, like I said earlier, I cannot seem to put this in the wash. So I feel like I need a hoodie just as grey. When one is in the wash, I can be wearing one. So I just picked up this plain grey hoodie. Again, very simple but just great quality, very, very soft material, and just goes with everything. I feel like everyone just needs a bunch of plain hoodies in their wardrobe, especially this time of year when it's freezing outside. Right, I'm just gonna keep to the tracksuit theme. I don't have matching hoodies for these, but I just wanted to pick these up because I love the colors of both of them. So I picked up this green pair of tracksuit bottoms. I'm loving this green right now. My walls this green, everything seems to be like this green in my life. Well, I'm absolutely loving these. The little crosses on the leg, I think it's so cool. I feel like these look a lot more high-end than they actually are. As in, I feel like I've seen a lot of higher-end streetwear brands and stuff like that having a lot of crosses on their clothing right now. And PLT are great for doing higher-end looking things at a more affordable price. Again, Wide leg. Oh, these are just great. I feel like even you could dress these up. Like in my head, I'm thinking a nice knitted cream jumper with some nice trainers. This is giving like smart. Right, the last pair of tracks at bottoms I picked up are these ones. Now, these are a different grey to anything that I actually own. And these are just some grey. These ones are cuff, but I don't hate it because of how baggy the leg is. It sort of just works. Right, we're back. The angle might have changed slightly. However, my battery just died. Do apologize. 
Um, what were I saying? Oh, if you are someone that does want to look a bit more presentable, I'm saying this like I don't wear jeans casually. Like, you will catch me on a fly in a pair of jeans. If you are one of those people that likes to dress up, I'm saying that like I don't love to dress up. I love throwing on a pair of jeans and a cute outfit. I don't know why I'm trying to cosplay this person that only wears tracksuits, because that's not true. <laughs> I think PLT are the best at jeans. I genuinely, if you look in my wardrobe, that's my bathroom, my wardrobe's over there. If you look in my wardrobe, the amount of jeans I have from PLT are ridiculous. I up these ones because I don't really have many dark denim jeans. I'm a very light denim jean type of guy, but I feel like this time of year, darker denim feels more right. Dark denim feels a lot more right than bombing around in some light denim jeans. I'm about to show you some light denim jeans after this, so don't get twisted. <laughs> I just love these. They're big, oversized, like cargo looking jeans, and they fit incredibly. Again, this is what I mean. PLT jeans fit so unbelievably well, and are such great quality. Oh, here we go. Byron contradicts himself again in this clip. <laughs> I've got some more jeans, and these aren't dark denim, but these just look like they fit incredible. I'm always, always, always on the hunt for my perfect pair of denim jeans that I will absolutely wear every single day. And I know I did just say maybe this time of year I won't lean towards lighter denim, but maybe I lied. Maybe I just lied. Because I really do like these. And they fit incredible as well. So maybe I'm a compulsive liar and I will be wearing these a lot throughout winter. <laughs> right, I feel like all I've shown is bottom half stuff. So I do actually have two pieces that aren't trousers or jeans or tracksuit bottoms or a matching tracksuit set. First thing I have picked up is this top. I feel like my wardrobe is lacking graphic t-shirts. I feel like I struggle to find ones that I actually really like. However, I used to have a top that had an American flag on it just like this. I don't know where for the life of me it went. I can't remember where I purchased it from. I can't remember where it's gone. I don't remember at what point I didn't have the t-shirt anymore but I seen a vlog clip of me wearing it not too long ago and we're like I love that t-shirt. So on PLT it's, it's not the same t-shirt but it's something very similar and I also think this is really cute. So it's just like a sports Los Angeles little t-shirt but I think for some reason in my head the more gym looking wear I wear I'm gonna become fit and healthy and that's just not quite how it works so I'm thinking the fact that this says sports on it is gonna make me fit and healthy. That's my logic. <laughs> right, last but not least, I love this. I picked up this denim jacket that's like a boxy big. It looks a bit like a hoodie with the drawstrings and it's got the hood on it as well, but it's actually denim and the cuffs on this are just great. I feel like this is a very me. It looks like a hoodie. Like how is this, like the bottom of it has a little elasticated waistband. It looks like a hoodie, but it's a denim jacket. I just think this is very me. This is very me. This is something that I feel like I would reach for day to day. It could also be dressed up. You could wear it with tracksuit bottoms. It could be cash. I love this. Anyway, yeah, I am gonna let you get back to the vlog now. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I hope this sparked some inspiration for you to get cozy this winter, get some new tracksuits, head over to PLT, check out their sale, check just just check out PLT. I'm gonna link everything I showed you down below, so if you do wanna shop anything specifically, I'll have all the links down below in the description. Again, thank you so much to PLT for sponsoring this segment of the video. I love you all very, very much. Thanks, girls, over at PLT for... <laughs> Why are you working with me at this point? It's what I wanna know, but thanks anyway. <laughs> right, I'm gonna let you get back to the vlog now. Enjoy. Sorry it's all over the place. It's just an accurate representation of my brain right now. Good morning everyone. I'm at my parents' house. I'm in mean, my brother's stupid car that I hate driving, but I don't actually have my car with me and I need to go to the gym meet my father. I really can't be fucked today. I really, really woke up this morning and wanted nothing more than to have a nice breakfast, sit in bed, have a cup of tea. But I had to get the train to come to the gym because I've been saying it for years and if I don't do it now, I'll never have the body that I want. So hot boy summer is currently in preparation. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. I feel like I'm gonna shit myself as well. I don't know what is going on with me today. I feel very weird. Felt very fine the past couple of weeks, or the past week or so. I've woke up this morning and I feel like, I just feel a bit sad if I'm honest. But let's go. Let's go to the gym. Hi and bye. Hi and bye. See you soon. Bye Coco. 
<laughs> I look awful. Right, very successful little gym session there. Me and my mum are just nipping into town and then she's gonna drop me at the train station and then going back to Manchester. <laughs> Flying visit. But I always stay too long. I always say I'm gonna come to the gym, have lunch, then go straight back. And since being doing this for like the past two weeks, I haven't yet once just had my lunch and gone straight back. <laughs> but today I think this is probably the earliest I'm actually going home. So we're gonna nip into town and then I'm on my way. I am back at Anna's now. I've popped over on my way back home because I need to swap my charges around. I was in Sainsbury's a minute ago and I've seen this rack of ribs. I haven't had ribs in such a long time. And I just walked past it and I like, oh, I do have food at home. But also I'm popping to Anna's on the way home. Do I just stop at Anna's and cook ribs? So that's what I'm doing. I'm cooking barbecue ribs. Anna's also been setting up um, her living room, so very festive, so it's very Christmas day. I would turn my camera around, but I know Anna's doing a full vlog of her apartment. It'll be up by the time you're I'm, I was just gonna say, by the time this goes off. Oh no, oh yeah, it will. This needs to go up this week though. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Right, try and do it without my knees. 10 seconds, I can't say. I'll probably be able to do 10 seconds. Yeah, you will. So no, I won't. Go, yeah, you will. If I start, if I say no, you have to let it up. Well, obviously, you can let go of your own feet, oh. you idiot. <laughs> right, I'll count to ten. As soon as you touch that, start counting. Okay. One elephant, two elephants. I can't. Oh. It hurts. Are so <laughs> you joking? It hurts so bad. Help. You're holding your breath. But I, I don't know. You'll see if I'm better. I don't care. Get up, Byron. You're so <laughs> Don't yeah. push on my knees. Okay. I'm fragile. <laughs> The MP stands for Munching Penis. Why is it so Munching Penis? That sounds like our weekend. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am in Brighton currently. This one, staying at Casadel, Casadel Barca. <laughs> uh, we got up this morning and went to the gym. I've actually not even started my vlog. I was going to do a little drive with me yesterday. But Anastasia made us very late setting off, so it was actually pitch black. And I thought, oh, great, I'll just Look start my vlog. Oh, Joe Malone. Oh, Joe Malone. Have you smelt the gingerbread stuff? Huh? Have you smelt yeah. the gingerbread no, stuff? Oh, no, it smells I so it. nice. I got my mum the um, advent, advent calendar. calendar. My mum's so jealous. My mum messaged me. Saffron's mum's got the advent calendar. No, way. <laughs> not that. It's I don't exactly even know where I'm walking. Uh, but yeah, we're in Brighton for, well, I say a couple of days, two nights. It's just like one full day. Me and Saf just got up this morning, went to the gym, left Anna at home doing the least. She was walking on the treadmill when we left, but me and Saf both said she's definitely done that until we've actually exited the drive and then she's gonna get off and go and sit on the sofa. But now we're in town, we need to pick up some stuff for these girls doing a little gift swap. Well and guys, then... I'm really, I did actually order loads. I look really nice. Yes. Um, I did order loads, but nothing's arrived. Typical. So last minute stress, we're gonna do a little whip round town, we're gonna get a Joe and the juice. And then we've got a little event tonight that this one's hosting. That's our house, which will be fun. But, um, absolutely. Me and Anna came down not even knowing what the event was, and no. we were like, oh, what are we actually doing? The funniest thing is, our management, so like my manager, had messaged Byron and Anna's manager, like, oh, Saffron's hosting this event, blah, blah, blah. And like, we hadn't even had a conversation about them coming down yeah. until they came down. <laughs> we just came down, me and Anna got there yesterday, and we were like, what are we actually doing? <laughs> just drove five hours, and we don't even know why we're here. But uh, we're in town, let's go. Guys, I do apologise that this vlog is absolutely all over the place. Um, I feel like a lot's been going on in my personal life. Mentally not been doing the best, as you will have probably heard me say about 19 million times. But my brain just can't seem to focus on things at the minute. But I am actually now going to get ready. I've literally filmed nothing all day. I've just been sat editing. The girls have been filming videos. It is now... What time is it? It feels so much later. It's half past four. Uh, I'm going to say it feels so much later, but you can't actually see out the window because... The glass is frosted. But we are actually down in Brighton. One, because Anna and Saf obviously were filming videos. Also two, because Saf is actually doing an event tonight with YouTube at Soho House. So we need to get ready for that because we literally need to leave in like half an hour. And I need to sort my hair out. I need to curl my hair. I need to just do something with the outfit. I've brought this. Basically, I got this denim shirt from Boohoo the other day. And I think it's so cool. But I don't know what to wear it with because you can't really wear it with jeans that aren't the same denim. So I've brought some jeans that are the same denim. I've just not tried anything on. I mean, I have this and another outfit, but 
I'm wanting to wear this. So I'm going to try this on, curl my hair, get myself sorted, and then obviously we're going to go to Soho House. Don't really know what to expect. I don't think anyone really knows what to expect. So it shall be fun. We're going to have canapes and drinks and stuff. Obviously went to the gym this morning with Sarah. Had a joe on the juice, but since then I've not eaten anything. And obviously that was this morning. So I'm absolutely starving. So the canapes are what I'm most excited about at this point. Canapes and a little free drink would be lovely. Guys, this is a real rush. So whether it looks right or not. Oh! Put on some timber on my waist instead. Oh, I've got something in my pocket. Flip bar. It's a real risk against the clock at this current stage of our lives. And if this doesn't look right, I'm just gonna look like a just in timber like impersonate up. Oh, hate it, we've gotta go. Mm -hmm. 